Hey, this is Leo, and in this video I'll give you a quick preview of the upcoming Play Audio 12 integration in Ableset 2. I have a Play Audio 12 connected to two computers. Um, this one we're seeing right here is the A computer, and then we have another one connected to the backup port. Both computers are synced via Ablenet, so if I go to the Hosts tab here, you'll see that um, both computers are recognized. And if I go to the Ableset app, I'll see that my Play Audio 12 is connected on scene A and currently armed. I can see the same status in my set list view. So if I click on this little green uh, status icon, I'll see that this is the name of my Play Audio 12. It is currently on scene A and armed. I'll also see that my computer one is sending audio and a sine wave, and my computer two is also sending audio. In this case, it's also sending a sine wave, but the Play Audio 12 can only detect a sine wave on the first port. So uh, it doesn't show the sign here. What you'll also see is a list of outputs. Currently, there's only one output active, and that's uh, output number 13, which is uh, carrying the sine wave signal. I can also quickly switch between the two computers using this toggle on the bottom here. So if I click this, I am now on scene B. And if I click it again, I'm back on scene A. To see these output indicators in action, I'll just start a song. And you'll see that slowly the outputs are starting to light up here. So I have the grand piano on 1 and 2, I have guitars on 3 and 4, I have a bass on 5 and 6, drums on 7 and 8, a click on channel 9, and then the LTC timecode on channel 10. And if I pause, you'll see that the signals slowly fade away. Now in the case that the main computer crashes or loses connectivity, the Play Audio 12 will automatically switch over to the backup computer, or scene B as they call it. And we can simulate that here as well. So if I just disable live sign, you'll see that the Play Audio 12 switches over to scene B, goes into the alarm mode, uh, which is also indicated by this icon just blinking very quickly. And uh, let's say I'm fixing the main computer again. I can just click here, switch back to scene A, and we're back in a normal state. You can also view this indicator in the performance view. And for that, I'll just uh, maximize this window, click on performance view, and here you have the same indicator. You can enable or disable it uh, using the performance view customization. And if you click on it, you'll just get the same status window that you also get in the set list view. This integration is still in development, but if you have any questions or suggestions, or if you already want to try out the beta, then uh, just let me know in the comments. I'm looking forward to your feedback and I wish you a great day.